Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a patient who has chronic hip pain, and every now and again the pain is sharp, but most of the time just a dull, achy hip pain, and they have an MRI of the right hip to see what is going on. Now in this view we can see the hip joint, it's a ball and socket type of a joint, this round thing here, this is the ball, this is the femoral head, and it rotates within this socket here, which is the acetabulum, part of the ilium. And the femoral head is round, and it goes to this narrow part here called the neck, and over here we have the shaft. Over here, this round protruding part, this is the greater trochanter. And in the joint, there's a little tiny bit of fluid, that little white area, tiny little bit of fluid. This is within normal limits. Now, in this patient, there's a little area of brightness here within the cortex. This is, again, the acetabulum, part of the ilium. And this black line is the cortex. There's a little tiny cystic erosion in the cortex. And right next to the cortex is a little black triangle here. This is called the hip labrum. And the hip labrum is a little fibrocartilaginous ring that goes around the rim of this cup. And the femoral head rotates in that cup again. And this patient has a very small tear within the superior labrum. Right here we can see a little horizontal tear of the labrum. Again, this little triangle is the labrum. Normally we should see darkness going all the way up to the edge of the bone, but instead we see this little area of transverse brightness, which represents a really tiny tear. Hard labrum seen this small. And this is that little cystic erosion beneath the cortex. Now, there's one other finding here, and it is related to the shape of the femoral head, and that's really why I'm showing the case. So the femoral head should be round like a ball, and you can imagine if it's perfectly round, it'll rotate in there, no problem. But when there's an abnormal contour where it's lopsided or not round, then when it twists a certain direction, the bone will impact. So if we look over here on the outside here, this is more flat than round. Over here, nice and round along the medial side, we get to the outer side, it's a little more broadened here. I'll put up another view to show this a little bit better. This one you can't see the labral tear quite as well, but you can see the contour a little bit better. You can see the cartilage is gray. This is the bone, the marrow is dark on this, but if we follow the contour around, instead of being a nice round contour, see how it's flat and broad? There's a little bony step off over here laterally. Again, it should be more round like this, but if we go posterior, it's flat. And this flat part, you can imagine if you twist the hip outwards, this broad area will impact into this part of the acetabulum. So this is what we call femoroacetabular impingement. This is the femur, and this is the acetabulum, and they can impinge. Again, you can imagine how rotating the hip outwards, this broad area will crush into here and you get a tear of the labrum just like they have. And also you can get little bony changes like this little cystic erosion like they have. So a case of femoroacetabular impingement and this is because of this broad area of the uh, femur. It's not round. Sometimes you can have overgrowth of this part of the bone, the acetabulum. They call that a pincer-type femoral acetabular impingement. And this pokes out too far. And sometimes you can have a combined one where this is too broad instead of round, and this is too large, and they call it a cam and pincer-type femoral acetabular impingement. And that's it. Thank you very much.